Hi guys, welcome back to Will the Beard Reviews. Tonight we're going to talk about Batman issue 73, The Fall and the Fallen, part 4, of course, written by one Mr. Tom King with art by longtime collaborator Mikkel Janin. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, hopefully it's not Janin and I've been pronouncing it like a a whole this whole time um all in all i really enjoyed this issue and you can tell from the cover here this is kind of a kind of an odd one so basically this whole issue is just thomas and bruce wayne traveling through the desert with bruce actually unconscious for about halfway through the issue and you can see from the caption here sometimes these captions don't always ring true for the actual book but this one says to save his son thomas wayne will do the unthinkable and that's what we get an inkling of at the or we find out on the very last page but there's a ton of pages between here and there so let's dive right into it so it starts off with thomas wayne riding through the desert at nighttime with an unconscious bruce on his horseback and i love this bottom image right here one I've always really liked the design of the Thomas Wayne Batman uh, costume, especially with like with that red circle behind it, um, maybe almost signifying signifying a blood spot or a gunshot wound behind the bat symbol. But also the aesthetic, and hopefully, um, let me see if I can get it on camera here. The um, the goggles and the trench coat that he has, it's just very evocative of the Batman costume from the nightmare sequence in. Um, Batman v Superman, um, which, you know, obviously that didn't go anywhere because Zack Snyder's vision kind of fell apart for for all of that. For better or for worse, that's a whole other topic for another movie. But I love that this art and Mikhail Shannon and Tom King, for his part, uh, leaned into that aesthetic. I really enjoy it. And I really love this whole time. It took me a minute to figure out um, exactly what Thomas Wayne is singing, but for about half of this book... He's singing Home on the Range, which which I really appreciated. So just a, almost a really dialogue light page here. They stop for the night. Bruce is still unconscious. They're dragging a coffin behind them. Thomas Wayne's just eating a can of beans. Um, then the next morning, Thomas Wayne wakes up to a group of five ninja standing around him and they are the death in the desert and thomas is like yeah i know who you are and they say well you know why we've come and he's like five of you you think that's enough and, he, and then the the lead ninja says you are not batman and thomas wayne batman cracks him in the face and says i am now and i love this page right here where he's just we got Flashpoint Thomas Wayne Batman fighting ninjas in their desert singing Home on the Range. It's amazing. It's one of those uh, very comic booky things that I highly doubt would ever translate to a different medium, but I absolutely loved it here. Uh, more of him singing Home on the Range and fighting and then carrying on through the desert with Bruce on horseback. Man, I just, I really love this, uh, like this panel right here. Just that whole aesthetic with the goggles and the the red underneath the um, the bat symbol. It's great. I'm going to have to listen to Home on the Range after this, right? Um, then we got Thomas Wayne eating beans again. And Bruce starts to wake up and immediately he yells, Bane, great art there. Uh, again by Mikkel Janin. Bruce, uh, Thomas goes to comfort him, and he's like, you know, Bruce is like, where are we, where are we, he's like, it's alright, it's alright, you've been through something, you're going to be scared, um, and then uh, Thomas says, it's okay to be scared, everyone gets scared, just means you get to fight that fear, get to fight that fear, I really like that, um, so last issue, um, Bane presumably broke Bruce's bat, but he doesn't show that here. That gets kind of cleared up right here. Thomas, who was a surgeon, right, a doctor, says, um, I did my best to put your spine back together, but between the hurt and the anesthesia, I want you to ride, I'll walk. You know, almost being, like, definitely being fatherly. It's like, I did the surgery on you, I fixed you, and I want you to ride the horse so you don't strain yourself. Really like that. Um, Bruce asks him where we are, and he says, uh, about 100 miles outside of uh Kaidem, the in the middle sand bruce is like i don't i don't know why we're here and thomas says 
You're the world's greatest detective. You'll figure it out. Almost a little patronizing. Then Bruce asks about the coffin, and Thomas says, Yeah, the coffin. You'll, uh, you'll figure that out, too. They keep writing and writing, and um, they eventually stop again for the night. Bruce asks, are we going to talk about it? And Thomas says, well, we've got a few nights. So we can talk about everything you want. Um, and he uh, says, you know, you were there. You helped Bane hurt you. You hurt Alfred. You helped kidnap me. You stood next to Bane as he beat me. Why? And he's like, Thomas is like, you want to hit me? And Bruce is like, yeah, I want to hit you. And I, I really appreciate that. Then I really like this. This is very interesting because it shows maybe some differentiation between Thomas and Bruce. Um, in the night, or in the next morning, some more of those ninjas show up and Thomas beats them. Bruce doesn't even wake up. You could attribute that to him being hurt and maybe still on some medication or something like that. Um, and then Bruce says, you know, they're the death of the desert. They're Ra's al Ghul's personal guard. Why didn't I hear them? Thomas says they're good and bruce says i'm good and thomas says ha are you now Ooh, like that's uh that's cutting words like telling batman he's uh he's not good enough um and then this is where um bruce puts it together they're going to the pit the nyan pit um it's in kaidom i've heard rumors and then he figures it out the coffin has martha wayne in it Bruce and then Thomas says, "You've come. A, we've you and I. We've come a long way, son. We've bled and we've burned. We've earned some rest, a right to go home. But when we do, we're going as a family. So they are going to this uh, special Lazarus pit to resurrect Martha Wayne. Now, in the Flashpoint universe, Martha Wayne actually turned into that timeline or that universe's Joker. So I have to assume." that the Martha Wayne in here, in the, that's in the coffin, is either that Martha that's dead, but that feels like not the right answer. This feels like he actually got this Bruce's Martha, dug her up, and they've been dragging her. Brother Bruce asks, where is it? And he puts on his own cowl. You can see that right there. And then they keep carrying on. And then... Um, I love, this is interesting from Bruce. He says, I remember the blood, the pearls, knowing I would never see you again. It was too difficult. I forsook my life. I surrendered to a vow. And now, what was that worth? Where did that lead me? And then Thomas responds, you made your choices, saved who you could. You're a good man, son, and I'm proud of you. And now it's time for the resurrection, for the final end of all your pain. So it feels like um, Thomas is saying, you know, it's like, look, I'm here. I'm your father. I'm back. We're going to get you your mother back. And that should, in theory, assuage all the pain that um, you've had since you were a boy. It's like, it's like you became Batman because you lost your mother and your father. Now we're going to give you your mother and your father back. Um, and just to emphasize all of that, we took you to the height of your pain and showed you that you can't be Batman and be happy. We took everything that was in your Batman life away from you to show you that this is what you truly need to be happy. You can't live in this Batman world. At least that's kind of what I'm getting, right? It's like we showed you, um, like we took your, your, like Gordon from you. We took uh, Alfred from you. Uh, we took your, um, the Robins from you. Took Catwoman from you. So you need your family to be happy. And Thomas has said before that he doesn't want Bruce to be Batman because it's a lonely existence. And I love that. That's very very interesting. I, I At this point, I'm super excited to check out issue 74 and see how they wrap up the fall and the fallen because 75 goes right into the city of Bane. So we've only got one issue left before we kick into the year of the villain arc and the story arc that this whole Tom King's run Batman has been leading to cannot wait for it guys i love this issue um uh, i've been loving batman you guys know that if you watch me um i loved it what'd you guys think about it let me know in the comments down below uh thank you so much for watching if this is your first time here at the channel hit that subscribe button for me it would mean a lot and until next time we'll see you at the comic shop